let's take a look at how to set the depth precisely on the drill press. So if you notice right now where this is setting, so we're going to use this thing to adjust the depth and this thing, it will go all the way down to the table right now. And so just, I mean, that's one reason why we always want to put a piece of wood under what we're drilling, because we don't want our drill bits to be hitting this table. That's going to ruin the drill bits. Anyway, I have a four snare bit in here right now. So let's say this is my waste board I'm putting underneath. And like, let's pretend this is the actual board that I want. <clears throat> I already set the table. So I loosened this, I cranked it up, and then I tightened it. Notice I have a little gap in between there. Let's say I want to drill. So I let's say I look at my technical drawing and I want to drill a half inch down. So now here's how you set this. I go lefty loosey on this part right here. Don't pull it out of the way, just enough so then this this part here can spin independently of the part here. So notice we can actually see numbers on here. So two means two inches. I think right there is about half, or one and a half. Keep going down. There's one inch. So I could go all the way to zero. So now if I said I want to drill halfway, like a half inch, so there, I think that's a quarter, here's a half inch. So then let's say I want to drill a half inch. So now watch what happens. I'm going to tighten this. I'm going to get my board out of the way for a second. Now watch what happens when I pull this. Hear that? It's, it's stopping. It's not letting me go any lower. And the reason why it's not letting me go any lower is because of the setting that I did here and, and tightening that. Now here's something you got to think about though. And this requires, like that's why you want to use scrap piece of wood and test some of this out because if I were to drill through it right now, I would not be drilling through a half inch deep because I have a little gap. And you should have a little gap. It shouldn't be touching when you first drill. So I have, I have to add, I have, I'm gonna have to go deeper. So I have to, I could actually measure this like let's say I measured that and that's like an eighth. So now I have to go <clears throat> a half inch plus an eighth, which I think is that right there. So then what I would do is I would drill, I'd practice drilling in a scrap piece of wood. And then what I'd actually do is if I could fit a metal ruler, not a tape measure, use a metal ruler. I could fit a metal ruler in there and measure the depth and make sure that I'm precise on my scrap piece of wood before I actually drill through my good piece of wood. So that's how you do it. That's how you set the depth using this. Overall, pretty easy. Like I said, uh, practice drilling in a scrap piece of wood to get your depth set correctly before you drill in your official.